And look, when that putter is absolutely square straight up and down the line, the heel of the putter is pointed at about 8 o'clock on that clock, and the toe is pointed at 2 o'clock. So now, if I want to plumb bob on the green with this putter, I have to be sure that I set it up so that it's pointed at 8 and 2. That way I know I found the vertical plane and the putter is straight up and down. Other th otherwise, it's absolutely useless as a plumb bob. won't give me a straight line to balance off so I know which way to line up for the break. So I'm going to cover the ball with my, with my uh, putter shaft, the right side for me. So to kind of go like this, all right? You want to cover that side. And then the flag, if it breaks left, should be to the left. Or if it breaks right, the flag would be on the other side. Or you wouldn't see it. It would just be blocked. And then you can move the putter to cover the other half of the ball. So check it on both sides. If you can't see the flag, that means it breaks that direction. And then you, you move it to the other side of the golf ball, the shaft line. And you're always looking at the inside of the shaft, meaning the hole is on this side or that side. And that's going to line up exactly where you want to hit your putt, where you want to start it. All right, so let's check this out. We have this putt here. From here, it's about a 20, 25 footer to there. It's flat. I don't know which way it breaks totally. It looks straight to me. So this would be a good opportunity to use this technique. And I'm going to put my ball here. All right, there's my ball. Here's me. I'm going to line this up, that flag, my putter, and my right eye. And I'm covering the right half of the golf ball. I'm covering the left half. I can't see the flag. I cover the right half. I see the flag way to the left of my putter. So I know this breaks. I thought it was fairly straight, but it, now this plumb technique is telling me it breaks at least six, eight inches. This is what it's, this is what it's showing me. So it's showing me it breaks way out here. That's nearly a foot of break. And I read it fairly, fairly straight. I might have played a little right to left, maybe a ball. But according to my plumb, it says it breaks nearly a foot. So I'm going to line up my ball right at that tee. It looks like way too much break for me. But we're going to see. We're going to see. We put the plumb to the test. Do our best to, to get the right speed here and see what happens. First take. You see that? We just totally went in. First take. These guys are my witnesses. See? <laughs> Witness. So I read it just initially. I thought it broke maybe a couple inches. I did the plumb technique. Breaks a foot. Let's do another one. Let's keep going. I mean, that's a lot of break to me. Oh, I had it. I left it short. Look at that. Perfect. We'll do the third one. Just see what happens. The ball's in my way, but whatever. Oh, that would have went in. Hit the ball. Plum technique. <laughs> 